I didn't film the intro to this video before I got my hair dyed. So the biggest, best part of this video, I just kind of forgot that once my hair was done, it would give away the whole point of it. And so, yeah, that's my bad. So I am incognito and I'm gonna do a glow up video for 2021. You know, I used to think I was too cool, too old, to be hip with the terms, but I think that these videos are fun to make. I think it's a nice little reset for the new year. So yeah, subscribe. I'd love to have you. Go ahead, click that button. <laughs> We're gonna get to get to going on the glowing. Let me tell you about my hair process. Since we're here, I had been dyeing my hair black for the past seven years. Before that, I don't even remember really what my natural color is, but it was light brown when I was younger, and then it was like darker brown. And within one day, I was planning on going in to see this colorist for the first time. She is awesome, I love her so much. If you guys are in New York, you should definitely go get your hair done by her. Aside from being very talented, she's also very, just a very cool person. So anyhow, I was gonna just keep my hair black, you know, stay with the status quo. And then within a day, I was kind of feeling just like a little antsy. And I was like, what if I went lighter? And then right as I had thought that, I saw this model on Instagram and she had like a similar-ish complexion or she just had like darker eyebrows like I do, which I think is why the black looks pretty natural on me because my eyebrows are pretty dark. Yeah, she had lighter hair. That gave me a nice little push and also a basis to be like, oh, this probably wouldn't look so bad if I went lighter again because my hair stylist, Emily Sue, Hesser, love her as well, recommended her to me and I said, hey, I've been tying my hair black for a very long time. Do you think this is even possible to get the color out of it? And she said, come on in, let's do a test strand, see if it lifts. Okay guys, um, I have clothes on because I'm leaving the house. I might look different when I come back. I'm not sure yet, but I might be different. We're gonna find out. Just giving you one last look before I change. It lifted to my amazement. Um, so if you guys follow me on Instagram and like, I guess the past few videos, my hair was, it went to red the first time around, which I knew would probably happen because you have to break through certain colors to get to lighter. Okay, I am about to finish getting my hair dyed. Hair was never red on purpose. It was just a gateway to getting it to a lighter brown. Give it one last farewell. I've been doing a lot of hair treatments um, to get it to a good point to get uh, bleached again. Um, I'm excited though, the red really grew on me. Like I'm kind of sad to um, be moving on so quickly. Um, okay, I'm leaving. Um, which I actually ended up really liking the red. I was pleasantly surprised. I'm going for more of a neutral to cooler toned, like ashy brown. That is where we'll eventually get. But right now it's staying still a little bit red. So I went even lighter than what you guys have been seeing, um, which is why I'm hiding from you. in between all of it also so I can like maintain length on my hair because you know worst case scenario I will just cut it short but I would like to keep it longer so that's why we're really spacing out the sessions and in between I've just been trying to do hair treatments and just like keep my hair as healthy as I <laughs> it can be but obviously bleaching your hair is 
is probably um, always gonna be a little bit damaging. Okay, so that's my little hair transformation. I'll show you at the end of this video after we do some like at-home spa stuff and we're also gonna do some nah, pick out an outfit and then I'll give you like a big reveal. So stick, stay tuned. Okay guys, so I just worked out. Usually if I'm gonna do a hair mask, I just do it right before I shower and just shower them out. So we're gonna do a hair mask to help with the fryage of my hair. Using this one, Ava NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. It seems to be working pretty well. Um, I also just ordered one per my hairstylist recommendation is the Playa hair mask. She like raves about it and I trust her. So that's in the mail for me. Um, if you guys are looking for hair mask recommendations, um, but this one's been really good and it smells good. So we're, I'm just gonna slobber this all over <laughs> my hair. I guess I meant slather, but I feel like slobber also works. Don't look. I'm playing this up to be like a huge deal though. It's not, it's just my hair. But a weekly hair mask, guys, I think it does wonders. I'm using a lot because obviously my hair is, um, she needs some help because I have put her through a lot lately. But we're gonna bounce back. We always do. We always bounce back, guys, you know? I'm gonna use this cold pressed scalp detox from Acton Acre for scalp buildup and I'll just do it at the same time. And you just put this right on. Here. Healthier, balanced, rejuvenated scalp. I try to just keep things as simple as I can with the hope that I pay attention to the things that matter the most and have a nice balance because I feel like if it's always like, this is good, now this is bad, now this is good, and now this is bad, like sometimes you can just get lost in the sauce of trying to figure out how to just like pretty simply take care of our bodies, you know? It is the night before my big reveal. In this bag, I have these tools that are very actually very dope. I, to be honest, hit them up <laughs> because I was so intrigued. When I saw them on Instagram, like I fully was like, I really want to try these. I've had very intense blackheads from since puberty and you know, nothing gets rid of them. I have been trying, let's see here, this, which a lot of people recommend. However, this looked extremely fun. <laughs> this is a pore extractor. It vibrates and just like gently kind of loosen your pores so they get really nice and cleaned out. And I've been doing it on my chin because I have so much mask acne. Um, my nose is always bad. Or on the other side that helps like serums go into your skin. That's the one that I was like, yo, I gotta try this. This is their, this is not sponsored by the way, but I did hit them up and just like ask to try them. This is a Dermaflash, which is, their company is called Dermaflash, but this is their dermaplaning device. It also vibrates and basically you go with soft, short strokes across your face and this helps remove, one, it'll remove the hair off of your face, but the goal of it is to get all of the dead skin cells off of your face and it also helps your skin um, with like cell turnover because it creates little, um, it makes your skin re-heal itself if that makes sense. So I'm gonna do both of those, but first I'm gonna put a little um, clay mask like on my nose so it pulls everything to the surface so, and then I'm gonna extract some pores. I honestly don't like watching other people. I like watching my own pores get extracted, but do not like watching like pimple popper videos, that's not me. It's just not me, but I do enjoy the feeling myself. So I don't know how graphic I'm gonna get with you, but I am filming this on my, on my zoom camera so we could get lit if 
you want. <laughs> dead skin and hair, I think. So, it's gonna be hard to avoid showing you my hair for this part, but I'm gonna do the TikTok towel curls. I've been trying this out recently and they actually work so well on my hair and it'll give us some nice flowy curls for tomorrow. I'm gonna put in just a little bit. This is like a styling treatment. Ever so slightly damp. like this this last part where you fold them up some people don't do that I think it looks cute it's kind of annoying to sleep in but I think it gives the curl like some extra volume okay so now we're gonna go to bed and I'll see you in the morning. done glowing up um these scissors are in my hands because i'm gonna chop off that very dead leaf behind you um i'm gonna pick out an outfit hopefully something that feels fresh and fun and like i haven't worn it before or thought of it before
right, everyone. You've seen it all from hoodie to this. Um, my hair is not quite finished in its coloring process, though I am having a lot of fun with this lighter auburny brownish. It definitely has some red um, left in it, which might take a little while to get out, but I have really enjoyed mixing up my hair color for the first time in a long time. And you know, a glow process is always fun. Glow up your outsides, your insides. Thank you for being here. And I will see you so soon in the next one.